such an interesting scenario here. And Marcus, I want to start with you. You and I were sitting together with Baker Mayfield a year ago at the Super Bowl, and I, I, I remember the, the conversation you and he had. I know that you were impressed with the way he took ownership of the things he had gotten wrong, and we saw how well that turned out for him this past season. Do you feel like you heard those kinds of things from Carson Wentz yesterday? Vaguely, G, right? Like, we all pretty much understand what transpired with Carson Wentz in Philly and taking ownership. He, he did say, I had some responsibility in that. That's good enough for me because Carson Wentz literally needs to erase his tenure in Philadelphia. He needs to put that to bed and focus on what's right now. But taking ownership of that situation shows the maturation that's needed in order to go be the leader and run a franchise from the quarterback position. That's not for everybody. And look, based on right now, that may not be for Carson Wentz. But the good thing for him, Indy doesn't need him to be that. They have alphas in the locker room. He needs to come in and ingrain himself within that locker room, and then you can work to become the guy at, as well as being a guy that's a part of that franchise and organization in the direction that they want to go. So, look, taking ownership is, I guess it's in the eye of the beholder, G. And for me, listening to Carson Wentz, I think he said what he needed to say. He said enough, but not too much. And now he's ready to move on, and we'll see how he performs in Indy. Now, Dan Graziano, as you look at the situation, big picture, how do you see it? Yeah, look, I mean, the Colts are heavily invested, first of all. Not only is he getting the $10 million roster bonus today, but as of today, $15 million worth of his million. $22 million salary for next year Ooh. becomes fully guaranteed. So if you're eating out with Carson <laughs> Wentz today, make sure he pays. Now, in terms of the football of it, Dang. he has got to be a guy that learned from what went wrong in Philadelphia, whatever that is, on field, in the locker room, off field, whatever. If he is not that in Indianapolis with his guy, Frank Reich, coaching him, there's not going to be a third chance for Carson Wentz, right? It has to hit here. He has to be the franchise quarterback for the Colts the way he could have been, might have been, wasn't in Philadelphia, or else the rest of his career is going to be kind of bouncing around from team to team as teams like, you know, third or fourth choices as a starting quarterback. That's what awaits him if he can't fix whatever was wrong in Philadelphia now that he's in Indianapolis. Mike Tannenbaum, do you think he will? I'm not sure. You know, I'm somewhat skeptical. If we would Google Bill Parcells' mm -hmm. Ten Commandments of Being a Quarterback, number one is a battlefield <laughs> commander, somebody like Eisenhower, Patton, mentally tough, someone that could lead the charges. And we haven't seen that from Carson Wentz, and that's a critical factor of being a successful quarterback in the NFL. If it's going to happen, Greeny, and it's a big if, it's going to be in this town with this coach. So I agree with what these guys said, which is we got to flush what happened in Philly. And he has to show more mental and physical toughness and start leading his team because the opportunities like this are going to be fleeting if it doesn't work out in Indy. Listen, the part about taking responsibility is important. When things go as badly wrong as they went in Philadelphia, there's plenty of blame to go around for a lot of people. But if you, in his situation, don't accept the part of it that, that you were responsible for, then you don't go around fixing it. Uh, and, and, and you don't just sit there blaming it. Well, if he did that, he did that, he did that. What did I do? What did I get wrong? That's the most important piece of this. Let's see if he really did it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.